Hey everybody and welcome back to another Kraken Packs video. I am your host, Mr. Bevers. That's right, we're back again with some Ikoria Collector's Packs as well as Core 2021 Collector's Packs. Um, I talked about this before, I actually didn't buy any of these um, in boxes or anything this time. Like, I, I bought a bunch of boxes of this and the previous two as well. Um, I didn't buy any of the Core 2021 ones because I felt like the... the I don't know. It just seemed like the exclusive things that were in these just didn't match very well with what was exclusive into all of the other previous collector's packs. Now, I mean, maybe I'm wrong in this aspect, and I think people have talked to me about it in comments and stuff and said, you know, like, hey, yeah, like, there's there's definitely some better value in the core 2021 ones. I get it. I understand. There are some definitely some better reprints in here that have a dollar value already, right? So it makes the foil or full art copies of those cards out of these packs worth more i get it but i'm talking strictly not from a dollar standpoint i'm talking strictly from what's exclusive to this pack versus what's exclusive to this pack right because that the whole point of these collector's packs is to give you something that you can't get in the normal draft boosters right that's kind of the idea so we're going to go through it and we're going to just see uh what we've got here again i'm filming out in the open here there may or may not be cats um, chances are no cats, but who knows? You never know what will happen. Um, so anyway, you get your nice foil token, right? So we've got a human token with a beast, okay? And then we've got a, uh, we've got our commons here up front, so Cloud Piercer, Lurking Dead Eye. Now these are all things you can get in regular draft boosters, right? Because these are just foil commons, right? Cathartic Reunion. And now we're into uncommons. We got four commons. And now we've got some uncommons. We've got Jubilant Skybonder. We got Barrier Breach. And then we have our basic land. Okay, so all of these things so far can be gotten in a draft booster as well, right? Now we have a commander card. Okay. Can be got from the commander decks, but it cannot be uh opened in draft boosters so here's an exclusive to these collectors boosters in the aspect of the booster packs from Ikoria okay yes okay I get it they're in the commander decks as well so they're not exclusive to these but you can't get this in a draft booster whereas you can get everything else so far so there's one okay all right here we go Quartzwood Crasher can't get this in a draft booster because it's the extended art that's about it. That's the that's that's it. So this is exclusive because of that. Okay, so here you go. Foil Lava Brink Venturer. Now, this can be opened in a regular draft booster because it's just a regular foil rare. Okay. However, this slot can also be extended art. If you got an extended art, this would be exclusive to the collector's packs. Now we've got a cloud piercer in the alternate art. These can be received in draft boosters as well, right? So there you go, okay? So that's a draft booster card. This is also a draft booster card, Necro Panther, okay? Savai Triome also can be gotten out of a draft booster. Nice alt art Triome, I'll take it, obviously, right? Here's a Godzilla card. This cannot be opened in draft boosters. However, you can get foil copies of the Godzilla cards as box toppers if you were to buy an entire box of draft boosters. So, this is semi-exclusive to collector's packs. Every collector's pack has a Godzilla card in it. So therefore, you can't get uh, as many with draft boosters, but you can still get them. Okay. Then we get a foil of the uh, you know, alternate art commons and uncommons which is nice but you can still get this in a draft booster as well and so there you go that's it that's the end of that pack so you can see we only got three exclusives possibly with a fourth exclusive with the rare could be extended art right so there you go we got three exclusives everything else is something that you could have opened up in a draft booster so not great not great for Ikoria as well. So let's see whether Core 2021 does something different and whether or not I eat my words, I guess, right, in this sense. Now, again, remember, this is all random chance to, like, you could see stuff in these packs that is exclusive in one and not in the other, but then 
you know, like for instance, the Lab of Rank Venture, I count that slot as exclusive, even though the card that we opened isn't, right? So the, technically there's three, four slots that could be exclusive or are exclusive to the collector's packs, right? This one, we've got the token, right? Foil. Now I guess technically the foil token counts. Foil tokens don't actually uh, fall in to... Uh, why is that backwards? Weird. Okay, so the token's on the back and these backs. Um, but the the foil token can't be opened in regular draft boosters as well. So, all right, so we've got a basic land here. Draft boosters. Can totally find them in there, right? We've got a warded battlements. Wish coin crab. Run a foul. Twin blade assassins. Garion, or carrion grub, I should say. And there you go, okay, a nice Planeswalker art foil land. Now, not exclusive to collector's packs. You can open these in foil in draft boosters. I have opened a few uh, out of my boxes, so not exclusive. Very nice looking, not exclusive. Temple of Triumph, extended art, exclusive. Definitely exclusive, right? Uh, because it's the extended art. Foil Glorious Anthem not exclusive because it's not um extended art now again this falls into the same slot as the lava brink advent uh, the venture right so technically it could be right now we've got a foil transmogrify again a card that you could open in a draft booster liliana steward again another card that you could open in a draft booster Chandra's Pyreling, another card that could be opened in a draft booster. There you go, Containment Priest, right? Now, this can't be opened in a draft booster. And they didn't do uh, the box toppers with Core 21. So you don't, you can't get this, can you? Or did they do box toppers with Core 21? I don't even remember. Did they? They might have done it, and I don't remember. Oh, no, you could get this. You could get these cards. That's right. I'm. What am I talking about? You can totally get these alternate arts in a draft booster. Yeah, because we've opened a few. Okay, so again, not exclusive. Vassery's Acolyte Foil. Planeswalker Border. Great. Not exclusive. Liliana's Devotee Foil. Planeswalker Border. Also not exclusive. So let's talk about this. Out of the collector's packs, right, for Core 21, you've only got two slots that are exclusive to the collector's booster pack. And I mean, as you can see from this pack here, like you can just get absolutely hosed on value, right? Like we didn't open anything super spicy, right? The containment priest is cool looking, but it's not super pricey or anything like that, right? And like transmogrify is not pricey and glorious anthem in foil is, is nice, but it's not pricey either, right? So, I mean, like, I mean, both these packs weren't very nice to us in value-wise. The the Triumph is probably the most expensive card, I would guess, just because it's the alternate art, which are absolutely gorgeous, right? Or maybe even this foil land. I don't know. I have no idea which one's the more expensive card. But the point is, is like the Core 21 packs seem to have far less exclusivity to them than previous collector's packs. Yes, the value could be there, and you could open up a Core 21 pack that is just jam-packed, like you get like a foil alternate art Ugin, and yeah, you're like, woof, I'm there, I've got there, right? Or like a, a nice full art foil Grim Tutor or something, right? Great, cool. But it doesn't, you know, it doesn't help you. Uh, or In my opinion, it doesn't make sense to buy these packs at all, just from a collecting standpoint. If you're trying to collect and you're looking for things that are exclusive, like collecting these extended art cards in Core 21, I would never crack packs to try and get them. I just wouldn't. I would crack packs of Ikoria collectors every day, all the time, right? Just because it's like, you know, you have a chance of getting more things that are exclusive to the set that you could then put into a collection binder or whatever. Anyway, that's just me rambling about collector's packs and why I didn't see much value with the Core 21 stuff. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I have been your host, Mr. Rivers, and as always, may your pulls ever be better.